That's a sight no man should ever see. Thanks for that. Look here. Another. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. There is a touch of mystery about it. Are giants coming out of his armpits? Aye, and his feet as well. I think that might be Odin stabbing him. Aesir slaying Jotnar. Same as it ever was. How was your trip to Jotunheim? Will you give them a little privacy? The kid just found out he's a giant. He doesn't need you interrogating. Bro, you knew? Oh, we knew Faye was the last guardian of the Jotnar left in Midgard. That's why we made her the axe. We hoped it could restore the balance of power. After Thor went all breezer with our hammer. Though in the end, it seems, she chose another path. She chose, well, you. Both of you. I suppose she figured that was the best chance for the giants to live on. And now, I suppose, that's up to you. How about that? A young Jotun with us the whole time. And the son of Lofi, the just... Oh, I should have seen it before. Better not be fighting with your brother again. Just because he's gotten a little less annoying over the years doesn't mean I ain't got a customer base of my own to keep happy. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Well, you came back here, didn't you? Fair point. Laufey the Just? Did you know her? I never had the pleasure. Laufey was a rumor in the halls of Asgard. A giantess warrior who thwarted many an Aesir god's plans. Freeing those who they would enslave, feeding those who they would starve, generally making a nuisance of herself in the most noble of ways. Thor was terribly frustrated he could never find her to fight. Once my imprisonment began, I could only wonder what became of her, and who she would turn out to be. Yours is quite a singular lineage, lad. <gasps> wow. What is this place? You are standing at the entrance to Ivaldi's workshop. A testament to the ingenuity of dwarven engineering. Why does it smell so bad? It's quite foul, isn't it? Well, that's a long story, but, uh, quite simply, Ivaldi messed with forces he shouldn't have, and you're breathing the consequences. So, Ivaldi created this mist? No, no, Niflheim has always been a land of mist. And snow. Endless snow. And, and wind and, and ice. Really, it's never been a pleasant location. But, Ivaldi found a way to harness all that frosty power, and built marvels that shocked the realms of both man and god. Wow. Yes. Wow. So then what happened? Hmm? After Ivaldi built all the marbles. Ah, yes. Well, Odin wasn't keen on the idea of dwarves building contraptions that challenged his power, so he intervened. Ivaldi was furious and retaliated. From there, things escalated, and well, here we are. Cursed mist. And this is why gods are best avoided. I didn't think we'd see you out here, since you and Brock got back together. Everything okay? Oh, better than ever. You know, I really think we've both grown in our years apart. So how come you're back here? Just catching some fresh air. Look, I love my brother, but he still smells like a fetid dung pile. What's in around Niflheim, have we? How can you tell? And I'd recognize if all these stench of failure in you. Plus, you still got some mist on your shoes. Oh! <laughs> 
that? A Valkyrie here in Niflheim? Impossible. 